Comac C919 versus the Airbus A320. The Comac C919 is China's answer to the Airbus A320, but how does it compare to its European counterpart? Just a few days ago, Comac, or Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, tested its sixth and final prototype of the C919. The aircraft flew two hours around Comac's test center at Pudong Airport near Shanghai. This last prototype tested lighting, cabin layouts, engine noise, and passenger experiences. From here, Comac is all set to get the aircraft certified in 2021 and begin deliveries. We've previously compared the Boeing 737 to the Comac C919, but you can't talk about Boeing without mentioning its friendly competitor, Airbus. If Comac truly intends its C919 to outsell the Boeing 737, then it needs to outsell the A320 as well. As there are two types of the A320, we thought it would be interesting to see how the C919 compares to both. Comac has designed the C919 to seat a useful range of passengers for airlines, catering to the 158 to 168 capacity range. This places it above the original A320, but not as big as the A320neo, which can comfortably seat 165 passengers in two classes, around the maximum of a C919. Looking at the range of the two aircraft lines, we see that Airbus has a 1,000 nautical mile advantage over the C919. The range of the Airbus aircraft series is so significantly more than the C919 that we can't mark it down to better engines or sharplets, like the difference between the A320 and A320neo, but rather to entire engineering choices. Let's have a look at the fuel capacity. The C919 can hold 19,560 litres, whereas the A320 can hold 26,730 litres. As we can see, Airbus also carries far more fuel than the C919. These design choices give airlines the confidence that their A320 fleet will be able to fly any route they choose. However, it must be mentioned that there are plans for an extended range version of the C919 that can fly up to 2,999 nautical miles. The range is still below the Airbus, but it is enough to be noted. Normally, we would also compare the two types of aircraft by price. If one is significantly cheaper than another, then it would make financial sense for some airlines to buy. However, we've been unable to find a list price for the C919 at this time, and the aircraft is only on order from Chinese airlines, which in turn are owned by the government, so that makes any figure dubious. Aircraft specifications aside, there are also plenty of other issues that might make the C919 unpopular, such as training required, lack of maintenance or support outside of China, spare part availability and confidence in an unknown type and brand. The bottom line is that the Airbus A320 series, both Neo and Original, outcompete the C919. However, Airbus should not rest on its laurels, as Comac is a hungry beast and could easily make up several of the advantages that Airbus currently holds dear. Lightly, Comac will refine the C919 and improve its range, and with a possible stretch, easily push that capacity up to the A320neo. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.